Hey everyone, Kyle here from Poseidon's Pets. So today I got a tour of the shrimp room for you. Let's go ahead, step outside and give you the full tour. Let's do it. So one of the stipulations of getting my own house was I needed a room for all my shrimp. And I got it. So starting off, crystal blacks, crystal reds. These guys are doing great. So you're gonna notice a little bit of a glare. Usually when I record videos of my shrimp, I'll put overhead lighting, turn all the lights off in the shrimp room. But first tank, this is a 20 gallon with mixed crystal reds, crystal blacks. I've got this set up on a simple cinder block stand with some wood. Got an API Whisper 100 run into that tank dual sponge filters, which nice little setup for a 20 gallon. And then you guys should be fairly familiar with this tank. This is my 29 gallon coal tank, Moss Grow Out. I recently put a canister filter on this guy. So I got a Fluval 407 on this tank. The way I set it up was the canister runs to those sponge filters and then expels right here but it's been going great. I stacked the canister with some Brightwell soil, as well as Biohome, some Matrix, all kinds of good biofiltration, as well as just some coarse sponge. I need to replant this tank a little bit. Some of the moss is coming off, but as you guys can see, the shrimp are doing great, breeding great. So there's tons of little guys in this tank. Look at, there's a little guy right there, hi little guy. So this is just a temporary rack right now. Got some water jug storage, trash can, and then of course uh, plugs and whatnot there. Little storage shelf, which is nice. So moving on, set up another rack. So, whoops. So you guys are gonna see some stuff that you haven't seen before in my shrimp room in this video, which is nice. So I just set up these three five gallons and this 20 gallon. I say just, but it's been a couple months and i got some new shrimp so robin tree over at shrimp envy i ordered some orange eye red devils and these guys look amazing so remember what i said you're gonna find some glare so they're looking great doing good and i fed all the shrimp prior to this video new breeding project these are a red stripe serrata so these are my own creation most likely they are a cross of the Aura, Aura Blue and the Tangerine Tigers. But as you guys see, they look like a Tangerine Tiger with red stripes. I got about 10 of these guys in here and they've been coming out of my Tangerine Tiger tank. So I'm hoping that I can get them breeding, get this line to be stable so that way we can have a red stripe Serrata. In this tank, uh, I fed it. I don't know where <laughs> the food must have went to. I know I dropped it in there. All right, anyways, this is my Aura Blue cross with Tangerine Tigers. So these are the apple greens and need some hard culling. Still not to that apple green quality. It looks like they moved the food under the plants there. This rack has also been used as a moss grow out, which is nice. I haven't decided what I'm putting in this tank yet, but it's ready to go. Now on to the fun part. These are more of my rare shrimp. This is my shrimp rack. So I have 14 tanks set up on this with one tank not having any shrimp in it because I'm gonna reset that tank here shortly. But we'll start on the left side here. I told you there's gonna be some glare. But basic tangerine tigers, you can see these guys are real nice looking. Had some struggles with them, but they're breeding pretty well. On to the next one. This is a breeding project I'm working on. This is a Shadow Missouri cross with Black King Kong tank. So I've got some Black King Kongs in here. I've got some Blue Bolts. I got some Shadow Missouras. And of course they move the food behind the little planter there. There we go, there's a good angle, except the glare. Yeah. 
So this video is gonna be one shot, one take. You know, it's a shrimp room tour, so it's gonna be a little rough. Just bear with me. There is my big mama, Black King Kong. She's doing great, buried up. But there's quite a few shadow mazurs in this tank. I'm gonna give you guys an update on it once I get some offspring onto my mixed pinto tank. So we have quite a few high grade pentos in here as well as some lower grades, but these guys are doing fantastic. There's quite a few babies in here, quite a few buried females, and you can see there's some, some good looking shrimp. Like look at that galaxy right there. Or boa, whatever you wanna call it. I am not great with the grading on these guys, I'm still learning. So some of my newer shrimp, I recently got quite a few dragon bloods. So I've got a whole tank of dragon blood set up. These are mostly adults uh, and juvies. So no babies yet and no buried females. This was the Aura Green Tank or Green Apples. And I've got a few babies left in here so I'm letting them grow out a little bit before I completely break this tank down. So I don't want to risk the lives of any of those babies, so I'm gonna let them grow out and then we will break this tank down, we'll reset the soil, and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Some more rare shrimp. So these are the black Nanashis, which are absolutely gorgeous. These are from Lucky Aquatics and Shelly. They look fantastic. So definitely excited for these. I feel like I saw a buried female in here the other day. So we'll see what happens with this tank, but I'll keep you guys updated. Another crossbreeding project. We have some orange eye black devils with the dragon bloods. You guys just saw this in the last video and these guys are getting a lot bigger. They are about breeding size. So we should be seeing some, some berries here soon and can't wait to really see what happens with these guys. My next two tanks, these are shrimp from the Garden of Eaters, so Grant and Shelby. What we got are some fancy tigers. So I have some red and black fancy tigers. There is quite a few shrimplets in here as well. And I think you can see one on the food there. But these guys are doing good, look fantastic. On to the next tank. This is a Thai Thai Bee backline. And these guys look great. This tank is struggling just a little bit. They don't seem to be hungry. They don't seem to be very active. So got something going on with this tank. Doing water changes here today and uh, yesterday. So we'll see if they perk back up a little bit. But I've had a few, or I had a set of shrimplets released into this tank. They didn't quite make it. So something's going on. Something has not been quite right with either of these tanks, uh, but the shrimp are hanging on, so we'll see how it goes. And to have a rack that's successful and have two trouble tanks, you know, you're not gonna be 100% perfect, so it happens. Another new set of shrimp that I got was, these are some black galaxy fish bones. These guys look amazing. Definitely can't wait to get these guys breeding and start selectively calling them out. So they look fantastic. Ah, don't look at my feet. Don't look at my feet. <laughs> no free feet picks. So these are some Blue Bolt Extremes that look awesome. These are from Lucky Aquatics as well. So thank you, Shelly. And then one of my absolute favorites red calcios this tank has came back quite a bit so they're doing well i've got some in there that need to be cold you can see that they have the white on them so any of those that have white on them i don't believe they are pure red calcios they need to be cold out and have that genetic pulled out of them second to last tank we have this is a crossbreeding project i have some tang ties some Thai bees as well as a few orange eye blue tigers. So this tank is definitely producing some interesting stuff and I'm curious to see what the next few months come out of it. A little bit more basic. We have a pure red line of crystal reds that is doing fantastic. As you can see, they're absolutely swarming the food. Last but not least, well, real quick, RO water storage. 
and then have a few uh, accessory items on the rack and then all the food so having a shrimp room like this takes a lot of food a lot of chemicals all kinds of stuff but simply took the doors off of my closet here and uh, you know set up this little dresser in here and I've got all kinds of stuff in there that I don't need basically it's a I don't use it but I don't want to throw it away storage just right there in this tank so I went away from Neos and I set up straight Caradina tanks, but I wanted another Neo tank. So basic 20 gallon setup on some cinder blocks and wood. What I'm really excited about this tank is I've got some Spixi snails. So I have Spixi snails in here. Just found my first clutch of eggs. So excited to get these guys breeding and I've been overfeeding the crap out of this tank and one thing you'll notice is the shrimp love it so the shrimp are breeding like crazy because I'm overfeeding for the snails and they're doing fantastic but these are not anything crazy as far as neos go these are a mix of uh, wild types red cherries blue dreams uh, black rose so basically all my neos I put into my 60 gallon and I let them breed let them do their thing but that is the extent of my shrimp room tour you know got a few things going on in here some cool projects if this is your first time to my channel definitely welcome you know I do a lot of shrimp videos so if you like shrimp stick around more content to come weekly so that's the extent of my shrimp room tour oh almost forgot small aquascape moss grow out basic stuff if you follow my channel you've seen all this stuff you've seen all my shrimp you know what i have i wanted to give a quick you know no cuts video for you guys just showing you the shrimp room showing you everything i have so like i said quick shrimp room tour for this week we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit the like hit the bell that way you're notified of all my future content once we hit 5,000 we're gonna do a big giveaway so if you haven't already hit that 5,000 mark we're almost there stay tuned to my weekly live streams on Wednesday if you hit the bell you'll be notified of when those are I do weekly giveaways for the most part so come by come hang out talk about shrimp learn about shrimp see my shrimp room in all its glory but thank you guys for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day bye 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 bye